Hi guys, uh, welcome back. It's Monday, 420. Uh, we would like to kick off the week just by saying thank you. Um, it's week six of the quarantine lock-in, uh, and you guys have made it this far. Obviously, the thing uh, that we love to do is coach in person and to see all of your faces, um, but we don't get to do that right now, unfortunately. Uh, so thanks for obviously sticking around for um, the non-ideal part of this, uh, but it was, it was also really fun to see a lot of your faces on the Zoom call, um, where I absolutely destroyed Michael in that workout. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a lot of fun. We'll do that again, uh, and we'll get creative as we continue going. But let's start off the week with some squatting. So training for Monday, uh, we're gonna do back squats. You're gonna set a clock to, uh, to beat on the two minutes and you're gonna do one set every two minutes. So the first set will be six reps at 65 to 75% your one rep max. Your second set is gonna be four reps at 70 to 80%, the moderate weight, right? The first set is light getting into the moderate, and then the, the third set is going to be two reps at 80 to 90 percent. Um, as you continue going on, you're going to then drop back down to uh, five reps at 70 to 80, so you're going moderate again, uh, back to three reps at 75 to 85 percent, um, again building up in weight, and then you're going to end uh, at one rep of 80 to 90 percent, basically, um, depending on how you feel Right, determine if you want to go a little bit heavier or a little bit lighter for that. Uh, we're not one rep maxing for the day, right? We're building off of strength percentages. But uh, what? What? You you shoot? You shooting? Yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, if you don't have a one rep max, basically just estimate a light, medium, and a heavy weight to use for each one of those. Um, and then if it's an unfortunate circumstance where you don't have a ton of weight and you can't work up to those weights, um, either choose to front squat or overhead squat with the weight that you do have and feel, th feel free to slow things down. Um, I don't even want to try and attempt what type of tempo you should do because regardless of what I say, it's going to be wrong. Um, but maybe you can add pauses in at certain parts of each one of those squats. That's what we're going to start with for training. I'm waiting on Michael to now pull off our board and look at what we're going to do for the workout. Uh, the workout for Monday, uh, this is one that I helped write, so I'm sorry, but I'm not really that sorry. It's called Sore Monster. It's going to be six rounds. Uh, you're going to have two minutes of work and then three minutes of rest, and you're going to do that for six times through. There's going to be a buy-in every time that you start your work. So uh, in that two minutes, you're going to buy in with 10 calories or 10 calories on the bike or 10 calories on the rope. Yeah, yeah, that one scared me. <laughs> uh, so there's six rounds, rounds one and four, after you complete your buy-in on either a bike or a rower um, of that 10 calories, you're gonna do as many squat jumps as you can. Rounds two and five, you're gonna do a max effort set, as many as you can in the time remaining in that two minutes of walking lunges, unweighted, and then round <laughs> Rounds three and six, that was a, must have been really important. Rounds three and six, you're gonna do a max effort set or as many as you can with the time remaining of split jumps. Um, those are all unweighted uh, squatting explosive movements or leg dominant movements. Um, and then your total reps over each one of those six sets is gonna be the score for the workout. If you don't have uh, all of the equipment, you have some of the equipment, the workout's the exact same. Um, if you don't have any equipment at all, you're going to buy in with 12 burpees instead of calories on the rower or the bike. <clears throat> and then the time remaining is still going to be the same movements, um, just like it was for a full equipment or some equipment. So um, you can do this without any equipment at all. If you do have a piece of cardio equipment, um, that's great as well. You can use that as your cardio equipment um, to use for those buy-in pieces or those calories that you have to get after. Uh, what was the thing that you said, Michael? Keep pursuing it. 